Today we make a cantaloupe drink. And fix it. Twice. Twice. Welcome to Comment Cocktails. I'm your host, Derek Show. I've got with me Ian Andrews. He's cutting the uh, the cantaloupe for this episode. Actually, he's been doing that for a while and he's yeah, just fucking I'm around. I'm just playing and eating cantaloupe. Uh, today we're going to make the cocktail called Summer at Purdue. This episode, hey, when you're done chewing, you want to step over here for a second? It's produced by Hendrik. Hendrik, let's go with Hendrik. Your last name's up there, Hendrik, so I don't have to say it. Uh, Hendrik is one of our Patreon subscribers. I suggest you Patreonize up and help us out. My Patreon number is down a little bit. Usually I'd like to roll out about 500. I'd really like to roll out 800 if you guys want to see me do a bark tour. But uh, 500 is kind of where I'd like to at least get to. So Patreon up, folks! This recipe is... It's a is building glass. Building glass. I'm in my mark. Fernandez and Mark, I will explain this in a little bit while we go through the recipe notes. It's an inch diameter cantaloupe ball or we're, square. We're cheating because we don't have a ball art. Like, uh, we're, we're, we're ball Or a little, one, yeah, like a cantaloupe ball art. Yeah. So he says actually even maybe a little bit. Yeah. Um, and then we're going to do a, a one lime wheel. We're going to have one teaspoon of rich simple syrup for that. I've got some, some, some gum syrup that I made a while back. It's uh, pretty thick and super sugary. I'm gonna eyeball the teaspoon because I'm pretty sure I can do that. That looks like a nice teaspoon right there. Yeah, that's um, if you want, you can always use the bar spoon. If you have a bar spoon from AwesomeDrinks.com, like the twisted version like this, that actually will measure out a teaspoon. Um, two dashes of peach bitters, two ounces of Hendrix gin. If you don't have Hendrix, choose something that's probably more floral or vegetal flavor, like a cucumber. Okay. Then organic. Then gin. Organic gin would work. Um, instructions: muddle to almost a paste. This could take a while because th this cantaloupe could be riper. The yeah, cantaloupe needs. Right. If you just went out and bought a cantaloupe because you're gonna film an episode with this cocktail, um, buy the cantaloupe ahead of time. And that way we're gonna muddle it all up, throw it in there, put some crushed ice in there, and then I think we add some alcohol at some point, yeah. and we're done. I'm gonna guess that Mark is at Purdue or has spent some time there. Last year, Mark finished our survey, submitted a drink for the survey. With all sorts of coffee and many steps. It was a three like cocktail building step thing. It was like, I kept pushing it off and off and off and then I just forgot about it. Um, I had a couple people whose cocktails pro had products I couldn't even get, so I had those done, but I totally forgot to, to contact Mark and let him know that I never got around to it because we do like five episodes at a time. And that means like sometimes we don't have time to do like that big of a build. Yeah, that one build is like yeah, a three. I would have to build. do that like by myself on like in the middle of the week and then edit the crap out of it to make it look right. And I was like, there was cooking involved, and I oh, think yeah. I might have had to get a PhD and then I had to become a chef. Yeah, you had to make some coffee. And yeah, there may have been some sous vide techniques in there. I don't even like this is just this is a much easier. It would have been do. interesting to try. But I, and then on the same token, I think our viewers also like to sometimes make drinks that are a little bit more accessible. Since sometimes we make drinks that don't have ingredients they can get, or we do some gymnastics with them. That's just me. This smells really good. It does. The cantaloupe and the bitters are really good, good smelling. Oh, we have to, sir, I, I love the, the massive amounts of description. They were, the cantaloupe and the bitters are good smelling. <laughs> I, I, I like them a lot. <laughs> they, they that was tasty. Way, that was very good. Yep. And that, it, you know, way. yeah, <laughs> this, uh, I don't know about the, the cantaloupe pieces in there. I, I think a more ripe cantaloupe. Let this thing sit for a couple days and then try this again. I don't know. You know how many fruit flies I had last time I let something sit for a couple days? <laughs> Ooh, two ounces of alcohol in there. I, I like the peach and the... Only a teaspoon of sugar. Yeah. You know, you. I think you, if you had a riper uh, cantaloupe, yeah. you'd, you'd get a little bit more sweetness and cantaloupe flavor. Uh, it's pretty, like... It's strong. Strong. Yeah. It's, I think I think it's a little ripe where you get, you you get a lot more juice out of a nice ripe cantaloupe. Yeah. That would just like permeate this, I think. Yeah. I, I think, think maybe the, but you know what? To I compensate. Still, I don't know. I, I would still prefer a little bit more sugar. I like the idea of this cocktail. <laughs> That's how you More than I think I would like the cocktail. You know what I mean? I think the mm -hmm. flavors are good and I think a ripe uh, cantaloupe would make a big difference. But it's too oh. Missing. Hollow, yeah. Oh, it's got a lot of alcohol. It needs a, another component to it. Uh, There's no real sour to it. That would be a liqueur. It could be a sour. It could it could be a lemon sour. 
I, does lemon and cantaloupe go together, Jennifer? Let's find out. I don't know. Oh, this is never a good idea. Okay, it's a little better with some sour in it. No, actually, it brings out a little bit more cantaloupe. It does. Uh, it's true. There should be a really a sour component to a lot of drinks, I think. I think sours, uh, traditionally, I, you're just, just going to pour the seeds all over it, aren't you? I've never seen this Any happen seeds? before. Yeah. Question of the day. <laughs> were you a bully or were you bullied in high school? Troublemakers, you guys don't count. It doesn't matter what, how much trouble you cause to the teachers. In principle, it's just about the bully, not bullying, and how you survived. I'd love to know if you had any tips on what you did, because I've been kids yes, that yeah, I was that similar age. to Bobby. Bobby said I was a bully, and so it wasn't picked on. I was that social butterfly who managed to fit in with every click in school. Yeah, that that is, that's the key. Charisma. Charisma. There Some people go. got it, other people don't. <laughs> Thank God I got it! We're teaching out a drink! But one of the bigger culprits that people don't really recognize are congeners. And congeners are those little toxins that can be found in a distilled spirit, in a fermented spirit, usually from fermentation down into distillation. Methanol, acetone, esters, 